this is Paulina Kisal, and this video is about the musical alphabet and chromatics. The musical alphabet consists of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and an octave A. In music, we use a series of letters, A through G, to describe the tones or notes that we're playing. This music theory concept is relevant to every instrument, so it's important to understand this whether you're a singer or you're just picking up an instrument for the first time. Though all of those chromatic instruments use the same notes, we'll be focusing on piano in this video to explain the musical alphabet. This example starts on C, but that will vary depending on the size of the piano. An 88 key piano will start on A, a 76 key piano will start on E, and a 61 key piano will start on C. We'll assume that the above example is a 61 key piano and that it would continue on past the B that you see there. By the end of this video, you should be able to name every key on the piano, the naturals and the sharps and flats, and have a better understanding of the musical alphabet. Let's start with our first natural key in this example, which is C. Notice the reoccurring pattern happening up top with the black keys, where you have groups of two and three. The C can always be found to the left of those groups of two. From here, the notes go in the same order as the alphabet, so after C comes D, then after D comes E, and so on. By knowing that, you could name every natural key or white key on the piano. So let's look at the black keys or the sharps and flats. These keys have two functions. They can sharpen a note and they can flatten a note. Let's continue with the chromatic scale across the instrument. We're just sharpening each note by a half step. Take note that sharps are to the right of the natural and flats are to the left of the natural. There is a sharp after every natural with the exception of B and E. And there is a flat before every natural with the exception of C and F. So I hope this video has given you a lot of insight into chromatics and the musical alphabet. For even more information on the musical alphabet and how it's used in music, check out the blog below.